Hello children. In spreadsheet application, next we have to talk about data types. Regarding this uh, uh, part, the lesson is there in the uh, your book uh, page number one hundred and ninety-eight. You can refer that page. Uh, data types. That means children, the content of a cell would be either a label, value, or formula. That means children, whatever you type to sell uh, in Excel, you can uh, uh, separate into types. These are called data types. Mainly, there are three categories: that is, label, value, or formula. Next, we'll uh, talk about labels. A combination of letters, numbers. Especially symbols or text entered using a keyboard are called labels. Okay, now you can see here we have typed some symbols in there. Okay, and some text. Okay, these all commonly we can say we can uh, categorize into label. So by default the labels are aligned left. Okay, after you type even numbers. Even symbols, even text. If uh, it if that uh, cell contain is aligned left, so that is we can categorize under label. You can see this number is aligned left. That is a telephone number. That is aligned left. And this one, this one, it's aligned left. But the topics are you can see it is looks like center. It is uh, done with the uh, alignment uh, tool. It is uh, centered within this cell. Okay. But uh, basically, when you type. The text will be aligned left. The next uh, type is values. The data with the numerical figures are called uh, values. Uh, by default, value is right aligned. That is one of important point that which you can you know uh, understand about this. Uh, after you type a number, it will be aligned right. So then it is uh, we can uh, categorize under. Uh, value data type so uh, decimal fractional likewise you can see these all are uh, currency date and time these all are aligned right the last category is formula the expression beginning with an equal marks okay you can see uh, here the, uh, the, uh, perform a calculation here to uh, they have uh, at these two numbers two plus three so there you can see that formula started with the equal so these we can categorize under formula data types you can read these notes uh, which is uh, i mentioned uh, page number then keep it in your mind data types we can categorize into three these are these are data types and keep it in your mind it's very important right next we have to uh, talk about mathematical operators children already you know the symbol that is addition subtraction multiplication division and this one is uh, i think first time you are getting experience uh, so that is uh, called exponential uh, it's a power if you want to find 2 to the power of 3 this is the uh, operator we type next we are going to talk about operator precedence that means if you have expression uh, so uh, how that expression going to simplify uh, and get the sum uh, then uh, it is according to this one I think already you know in mathematics already you have learned first it simplify within any expression left to right so brackets next it simplify power next it simplify multiplication or division that means children division first it uh, meet from left to right so it uh, prof, uh, it um, complete uh, it uh, calculate division if after that uh, if uh, multiplication meet uh, multiplication will perform likewise after that fourth uh, uh, addition uh, or subtraction that's how it happens we'll get some experience uh, there you can see uh, expression so equals 2 plus uh, 4 into 3 so this case uh, if we uh, apply this method so uh, it uh, we will check whether bracket is there first expression no 
power no multiplication yes then it uh, do 4 into 3 then after that the value will add uh, add to 2 then you can see result will be 14 that is easy you can understand likewise you observe this one by one clearly so you can understand according to this rule uh, this way uh, in uh, spreadsheet software it perform uh, calculation so there is a, a bigger uh, expression you can see so this expression if you get uh, you can notice it's a little bit big so but no bracket here then after that if you observe left to right you can notice uh, power is there okay after that you can see that is colored and uh, the value will be 9 after that so then it will check from left to right again any power values are there no then bracket no so then after that multiplication yes okay first it um, uh, meet here multiplication then the result is here then after that again it will check uh, uh, whether any multiplication or division so division is there it divide uh, then after that you can see the result here then after that no multiplication uh, and division then uh, addition uh, first it uh, meet here addition so uh, after that uh, it uh, simplify the value and you can see here the result then finally subtraction this is the last answer everybody uh, see the grade 10 book uh, page number 201 so you do that uh, uh, activity and write it uh, in your uh, assignment book and send it to school so uh, next uh, we are going to uh, talk about in practically how to perform calculation in microsoft excel everybody knows how to name cell range so here i'll type a value now you can see it's a very simple value that is i typed in a1 cell second value i'm going to type it in a2 cell then i want to add these two value children so what you have to do you can type equal then you can type or select the cell address of the value which containing on here this cell address is you can understand a1 uh, better that always uh, type it and get experience because we have to write in uh, you have to write it in the paper then uh, what i'm going to do simple capital doesn't matter you uh, the first cell address is a1 then i want to add this then i type the uh, operator so uh, then after that i will type uh, the second value that is uh, there in the a2 cell i will type a2 you can see uh, we can uh, here even this formula this is called formula in this formula uh, uh, we can individually identify cells how the it is it uh, consists of a unique color here okay now you can see this is a1 cell it's a blue and this is like a red okay you can see then after finish typing uh, your uh, formula you can press enter now you can see here uh, the value is 8 and uh, just if you type 5 plus 3 it will be a text children it never uh, perform a calculation it never display any result you can see here it is aligned left then if you want to perform a calculation definitely you need to type equal then after that you can type or select now i will select this cell address a1 plus a2 i'll press enter now you can see the result and what if I click on here you can see this place is called formula bar the content of the cell it displays here if I click this one you can see 3 and if I click this one it not displaying 8 it displaying the formula which you have performed uh, here to get the result so we have a lot of advantages working here think whether you made a mistake early, uh, you made a mistake and type 5 but instead of that you need to type 8 don't delete just type 8 and press enter you can see result is updated on the uh, a3 cell because we never said at 8 plus 3 we said a1 plus a2 children that is one advantage uh, if you are working in uh, spreadsheet software like this uh, so not only that we can perform a calculation in this way too what is that method uh, here equal 8 plus 3 okay everything i have typed within this d1 cell i press enter you can see you that way also you can get the result if you click here you can notice here in formula bar 
the way you have performed the o formula will display here now i will type in this way here equal 8 plus 3 i will press enter you can notice here the 11 is there but if i change the value here into 10 it never updating because i never introduce here the cell address i type i type here within this formula 8 plus 3 that one also you need to notice that is very important to know about this right uh, then uh, in your book you can see this note okay this is the first uh, neck uh, uh, this is the topic you write this topic and uh, note down this one by drawing these cell addresses properly and this is the uh, next example you need to write down uh, next uh, children we are going to talk about uh, how to type and get the power value here I'll type here uh, 2 I'll type here 3 okay I'll type here 5 and I'll type here equal to the power symbol then after that uh, next cell address okay a1 containing 2 and b1 uh, containing uh, Five. We'll see what is the result here. According to this one, you can guess this is two to the power of five. Okay, that's how uh, if we type uh, this is the meaning of uh, whatever get result. Okay, now this is uh, two to the power of five. This is how you can uh, type to get the power value. So, not about that one is what you have to copy in your book is this. Pause your video and copy down this one. Uh, after that children uh, uh, as you see that you can include a lot of value like this okay you can uh, perform uh, whatever calculation that you want right i need i'm going to add this two and with this uh, a three cell then I, after that i'm going to multiply uh, by three likewise okay now uh, in this way you can do uh, you can add here many operators to perform calculation then according to how uh, what i uh, the, uh, showed you here uh, this uh, according to this method it performed calculation that is uh, compulsory to memorize right <clears throat> now you know uh, do a simple uh, basic calculation uh, next uh, I'll introduce you a small uh, uh, practical we'll type a name we'll type a subject name ICT maths We'll think only two subject is there you can add many subject and you can expand this one you can perform uh, you can practice do practical according to your choice then i will type here total then i will type here average right so after that <coughs> i'll type names i'll type some quick name like a b c d i'll type few names like this right i'll type a three uh, children name we'll think those are their names and when you are typing values okay these two columns it is easy for you all to uh, select uh, this way and type why children just if you type some value like this you can notice after this one you need to get your mouse why the using arrow keys you need to um, focus your uh, cursor into this uh, mouse pointer into this c2 uh, column but if you select or if you have uh, multiple columns it is easy for you all to type like this look at this what will happen when you come to b5 cell then after i press enter it jumps to the automatically c2 cell you can do uh, practice about this one it will be very helpful for you all to when you are performing calculation even if you made a mistake you can press enter you can go to particular one think whether this is not the 50 you think that is 60 i type it is easy okay now you all can understand how to get the total quickly equal you can type it uh, you can uh, in, you need to introduce a letters you know I'll type uh, b2 plus c2 uh, press enter then uh, this one equal uh, so likewise you can introduce a letters there are uh, easy method that you can do it but uh, first you do practical in this manner right how to get the average uh, there are several ways using formula I'll teach you two method first one is I'll type equal here this is our total everybody knows average will calculate the uh, 
the total will divide by number of step now according to this uh, that way so you, we have two subjects then i will select total uh, cell that is d2 then i will divide by 2 i'll type divide by 2 this is division symbol I'll press enter now you can see the result is produced i said i'll tell you another method that is the next technique is this way i'll open a bracket then I will add this two cell that means B2 and C2. I'll close the bracket. Everybody knows. Then this calculation will do first. Then I will type two uh, division and I will type I have here two subject. If you have five subject, you can include there five. Press enter. This both technique is um, correct. Okay, now uh, you can uh, you can do this practical. You can copy down. Uh, answer uh, sorry this is uh, a practical in your book with the cell addresses like earlier but you have uh, noticed in uh, our tutorial like a b likewise you need to write okay cell addresses and uh, there uh, here we are not going to write the answer we need to write the correct formula here right uh, so I will keep it here uh, then you can observe this one video pause it and you can uh, do your calculation uh, easily pause your video and you can uh, write and you can uh, observe in video you can do your practical this is the formula regarding total and the average i uh, taught you two methods that you can uh, use, uh, find average using uh, uh, formula right now uh, now you can uh, create according to your choice whatever uh, exercise uh, then you can get experience uh, next children we are going to talk about another very important uh, point about this okay i'll type here uh, then uh, two values a under a1 and a2 i'm going to uh, type equal i thought of add this two value okay a1 plus a2 now i'm going to refer this a3 into another cell a3 cell address into another cell that is i need to refer that one into f3 what i'm going to do is equal just type this one and press enter now you can see same values uh, uh, you can see on f3 uh, now if you have done something you can see here that is automatically updated on the uh, referred cell 2 that is on f3 yeah, likewise if you refer any another cell address into na uh, another cell address then that value will display it's a very important point hope you understood up to there that is easy right now you do your practical uh, up to that clearly one by one and write down important things and uh, referring also you can write down uh, like this that is easy how I type here 50 okay when if you want write you can type here equal and likewise this is your no you write a one just lay only b and c column okay then there you type how to refer a uh, cell okay that is the topic note down that one in your book uh, right I will delete this uh, after there you practice and get experience thank you very much